Hi, welcome to the ride. You know, I don't think pictures of the dead are gonna win you many friends down on the floor you've selected. Now. How many contestants are there? The optimum number for play is three. How fortunate. Is this the first? Oh, good. It's always fun to share the ride with the newcomer. We will also be sharing some instructions so you won't get lost along the way. So pay attention. Player one, may I have your name, please? Perfect, thank you. Oh, look, it's your... Gosh, sounds like someone sprang a leak. Player 3, let's show players 1 and 2. How gracious of you. Thanks. Player 1, feast your eyes on the letter Q. This is your buzzer. That's Q, as in Qbert. Player 2, please use the letter B as your buzzer. That's B, as in Beulah. Player 3, you'll be using P as your buzzer. P, as in Prairie Oyster. Hope you don't get cremated. Bye now. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. This episode of You Don't Know Jack is sponsored by the Plastic Mortician Association of Beverly Hills. It's never too late for a nip and tuck. And now here's your host, the one, the only, Cookie. Hey, how are ya? You? You're the sickos taking the pictures, huh? You gonna post those on the internet or just tape them on the wall there, you freaks? Okay, first off, gotta give you your screws. Here's a bunch for all three of you. Now listen up, and I'm gonna tell you why I'm passing these out. The first time a question comes up that you think might be on the difficult side, buzz in immediately and start pounding on the S key. That's S for screws. You're gonna be shooting these puppies into the screen, totally annihilating the question and answers. Then you're gonna make your opponent answer the question whether they can read any of it or not. So if you're not the one pounding on the S key, you better be trying to read everything fast before it's gone. And that's Flakjack. <laughs> Okay, let's ride. But hey, keep it down, you can wake the dead. Okay, player two, we're coming up. Iron Maiden opened and death closed. And now the question. If there were a Megadeth at a Megadeth concert, what most likely occurred? An epidemic disease, a natural disaster, a nuclear war, or a shredding guitar solo? Player three, make it happen. Okay, the next freak who jumps on stage during my solo gets a nuclear bomb up his ass! I mean it! Megadeth is a unit used to represent one million deaths during nuclear war. But I think the only venues that hold that many people are in Brazil. Player 3, poke your buzzer and give us a value. I like to call this category... Mythology's Funniest Deaths Part 4. Okay, hang tight. We're talking about $3,149 here. Here we go. Which of these activities might the Greek tragic figure Icarus have done that would have foreshadowed his death? Eat lots of chicken livers, jump potholes on his big wheel, wax his legs and arms, or poison himself with Spanish fly? Player one, hit it! Icarus made a pair of wings out of wax and feathers. When he flew too close to the sun, his wax wings melted. But, you know, it gave him a smoother and silkier death than shaving would have. Player one, it's up to you. Snag a question. The category is... You'll miss me when I'm dead and gross. All right, dry your eyes and complete the following sequence. Denial, anger, blank, depression, acceptance. What word completes the all yours, player? According to the famous model, the third stage of dealing with death and dying is bargaining. And the final, final stage is patting down the dirt. Player one, please buzz in and... Nice choice, player one. Ah, uh, players two and three, go get me a soda, player one. It's time to play this or that. And this this or that question's category is... 
I was dying up there. I'm gonna list seven movie titles, and for each one I want you to tell me if it starts with dead or starts with fatal. As each one comes up, if it starts with dead, press one. If it starts with fatal, press two. If you're kinda clueless, hit four. You're gonna get some money for each right answer, and you lose cash for a wrong answer or any you don't get to. Okay, you got 30 seconds to nail all seven. When the wire fills up, you're out of time. Let's do it. Again, start with dead or fatal. Presidents. Attraction. Oh, it's society. Man walking. Beauty. They don't wear flab. Beauty. Only one wrong. Pretty damn good, cowboy. Let's toss that into your total. So, player one's in the lead. All right, let's see how long this lasts. Okay, player two. This one's called... Did Snow White have a bot mitzvah? In accordance with Jewish ritual, when someone dies, immediate family members must sit shiva for a period of seven days. According to Jewish tradition, if Snow White's wicked stepmother is sitting shiva, what does she have to do with her mirror? Cover it, break it, clean it, or talk to it? Player one! And the bad luck starts right now. Player two, player three, player two, it's yours! Don't take that gift. Okay, you picked one. While they're sitting Shiva, mourners are supposed to cover the mirror so that vanity does not interfere with the mourning period. The Wicked Queen also has to give up her comfy chair and sit on a box. Hope she kept the apple crate. Guess what, player two? You're the one who's screwed. <laughs> player three, your category is... His whole life just went down the toilet. Hey, how about that negative score, player two? If you flush your dead goldfish down a toilet in Peru, which of the following will happen? He'll swirl down clockwise, he'll swirl down counterclockwise, he'll go straight down without swirling, or it depends on the toilet. Take a shot, player two. Although many people say that toilets flush in the opposite direction in the southern hemisphere, the direction of flow actually depends on the direction the pipe in the tank points. And if you really love your goldfish, you bury him in the backyard. Player two, hit me! Okay, give it up for... Some old ladies should eat cat food. Okay, this is a fill in the blank, so buzz in and type your answer when you know it. Now pay attention and take a listen to this autopsy report. The cadaver is an old lady I know. Uh, she has an enormous bump protruding from her stomach. My god, she swallowed a horse, inside of which is a cow, and in the cow's mouth is a goat, and a dog, and a cat, and a bird, and a spider! If the tape hadn't run out, what would you have heard the coroner find inside the spider that the old lady swallowed? Show us how it's done! According to the gruesome children's rhyme, the old lady swallowed a fly and a bunch of other animals. I don't know why she swallowed a fly, perhaps I'll vomit. Okay, player three, hit your buzzer. Let's find out how much this one's gonna be worth. Bingo. I saw a movie late last night and it just scared me shitless. S-C-A-R-Y, S-C-A-R-Y, S-C-A-R-Y. I think I saw my bridges. Welcome to Scary! Alright, let me give you a quick explanation of how this works. You're gonna get a series of puzzles. When you think you know the answer to a puzzle, wait until the first letter of that answer highlights on the screen, and then buzz in. If you get it right, you pocket $500, and you take that letter. But you lose $500 whenever you get it wrong. Be the first one to collect all the letters, and you win the bonus. Okay, you with me? Hope so, cause we're going. The Blank Horror! Ebony Bell! Famous Psycho Scene! Airplane! What 
kitchen noodle pumpkin. Nice pumpkin. Murderer Jack the Blank. Ripper. Hines and Flick Blank Wounds. You got me! Abominable Snow Monster. Ain't dead yet. Or you just need one more letter for the bonus. Scary tail you weave. Grab the bonus! Well, for the time being, player one, you're on top. Alright, player two, buzz in, give us a value. Here's your category. But caning an American boy is just barbaric. Hey, player two, it looks like you're still in debt. Why don't you try playing without the blindfold? If capital punishment were only legal in the world's capitals, which of these could not happen to you? Getting the chair in Canberra, getting hanged in Havana, getting beheaded in Buenos Aires, or getting injected in Istanbul? All yours, player one. Okay, player Middle number one. Here's a chair, mate. Oh, thank you. Ah! <laughs> Player one! Wow, is that legal? Oh, beheading! <laughs> Player three, it's up to you! Player three, do it! <laughs> okay, very sorry performance. Istanbul's not the capital of Turkey. Ankara is. And besides, a turkey injection probably wouldn't kill you. You'd just be really sleepy. <laughs> Player two, pick us a question. Okie doke, let's check out the category. Farming is so goth. Okay, you know that thing the Grim Reaper carries? I never know how to pronounce that word. With which of these words does this word rhyme? Bitta, Lethe, Tithe, or Rethke? Up to you, player. Th scythe rhymes with Tithe. But I still like to call it the Grim Reaper's big scary pointy thing. Up to you, player three. Hit your buzzer. It's dead. It's disgusting. It's roadkill. Okay, let me explain how this game works. You're gonna see different pairs that are somehow related. And you're gonna get a bunch of items that may or may not connect the pair. You gotta buzz in to select the item you think correctly joins the two. I'll give you a grand if you're correct, but do choose wisely. You lose a thousand every time you're wrong. And at the end, there's gonna be a bonus question worth some bonus cash. Pay attention to all the correct answers, and you might have a shot at the bonus. You got that? Good, let's motor. Pitcher and catcher, and assault and blank. What unites these two? Four. To take advantage 
shop and a blank of human kindness. Let's go for the bonus. What do all the correct answers have in common? Are they all? It's the old lady ape. Mortuary turns. And you're in the threes of the Bahamas. Thanks for that creation day. It's all about you, player two. You got it. Good for you. Now go away. Your time's up. So, player one's in the lead. All right, let's see how long this lasts. Player two, what's this one gonna be? Coming up. Rock, rock till you drop. Okay, play ball. Which song title best describes the Hindu funeral custom of Sati? The Beatles' happiness player three makes... Okay, player one, you've been sp three, huh? Let's see it. The now outlawed practice of a widow throwing herself on her husband's burning funeral pyre is called sati. And once the widow's all burned up, she'd be sooty. Guess what, player three? You're the one who's screwed. <laughs> player one, hit your buzzer and select it. Welcome to the Jack Attack. I'm gonna be throwing a bunch of words up on the screen. Buzz in when you see two items on the screen that match. Each time you're right, you make money. Each time you're wrong, you lose it. Now here's the thing. Not any two items that go together are necessarily a match. Remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. In other words, he died. And remember, the match has to fit the clue. Alright, good luck. Okay, let's see what we got. Player one! It'll be such a blast Cause I'm going on a fast with you be so great as we ignore our dinner plate of food get those fools that let the stomachs expand if i wasn't so weak i would take your hand in mine come on and get 